Uh, Jantel, did you put a little something extra in your cereal this morning? Mm -hmm. A little extra sugar or something? No, um, I just think um, my teammates saw me in a good position and I just took my time and um, made my shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It was just like you were doing a joke on the TV and you made fun of me. What did they say? They watched like the after game film of me and I mean, it took my time and all that time. I was kind of distracted by the crowd a little bit. I said that like, they said 250 times. <laughs> <laughs> and I just said it again, so I just kind of thought it. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, in a game like that, when I guess a very good team, how much does it mean to have something like Gantel inside, someone like Gantel inside that you know if you get the ball through in the right position, she's going to do something with it? Um, I don't think it's just this game. I think it's every game. Uh, I've been blessed to play with an All-American player, one of the best players in the world in women's college basketball. So having her presence down there takes so much off everybody else. And she's just a big presence in the game, offense and defensively. So she, I mean, she's a great player. So it's not just this good team. It's against medium teams or weak teams or however you want to classify it. So tell them you, they got to within a tie at a late in the game. Uh, you guys pulled away with a, a big run, and it seemed like you guys were having a lot of fun. I mean, has that been the biggest factor here down the stretch for you guys, is just having fun playing again? Well, I definitely think that's a part of it, um, along with defense, of course. But um, this game, we tried to yeah, take that approach, you know, just really just be within the game, have fun with it, you know, play great defense and execute on offense. Chantel, your battle um, with, like, Kendrick Johnson seemed like it was very physical and even personal at times. Um, the game in general looked very physical. Did it feel that way on the court? Uh, most definitely. Um, that's why we had to really emphasize um, reversing the ball so I could get you know across the floor and um, get this, a, a deeper position um, on the block because you know she was being so physical. They were front at one time, and I don't know. It was just patience, and um, they got me the ball in a great position. So. Gentel, um, Michigan State's lost five times this year now. Three of them have been to you. Uh, do you think that's more of uh, just your team maybe getting up for this game, or are you guys just a bad matchup for them? Um, I think the times that we play Michigan State, our team has really um, understood who we are as a team and um, really played hard and um, you know took to the roles that we were supposed to play in, in that game really um, personal. So. Um, it's just basically that, like, once we started playing Michigan State, it was kind of towards the end of the season when we were peaking as a team. So um, I don't think it's necessarily to get up for them. It's just that our team has kind of turned the corner from where we were at the end of the season. Gentile, piggybacking off that, uh, we've seen you come here, what, three years, four years in a row, and you've dominated, you've played what great. And, uh, but could you speak to maybe how this has been different all the way around, and even though Tonight might have seemed like a, an old Jantel carried the team effort. It's been more about this team playing together uh, this time around. Most definitely. Um, it's definitely different because we're coming in here with a five seed and uh, we're used to having a one seed. And, um, I look at it as, you know, we're still playing three games in three days. And um, when we're playing teams at this time, I think everybody's playing pretty well. And um, that's the way we approach it. It's not, you know, any other, it's not any different situation except for that our, um, number five, our team is number five, and I think we're playing like a number one to see right now. So um, as long as we came here to play and um, play as a team and play extremely hard and try to win this thing, um, it doesn't really matter what our seed was, and I think that our team really wants to win it, so um, we're playing like this. Uh, Taylor, we, could, you, could you speak to the atmosphere of this game? I mean, just going to say crowd is loud. Your, your crowd was very loud. Uh, the, what was it like, I guess, playing in this game? Um, I think whenever we play Michigan State, there's always an atmosphere like that. So it was nothing new. I expected their fans to be loud. Um, and I knew our fans is always supportive and very loud. So, I mean, it's just an atmosphere that we're comfortable in. Every time we play them, it's always a nice ice crowd. Taylor, you guys played Penn State in January and lost. You played Penn State in February and won. There was a huge turnaround at some point around February 1st. What do you expect to see from Penn State tomorrow? Um, I expect them to play hard. Uh, we beat them the last time, so I expect them to play with a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. But it, 
they're not going to dictate the game. It's on us how we come out. The first time they beat us, it was because we were playing defense. It wasn't nothing special they did. It's just we decided to start playing defense. So. Coach, can you talk about your composure?